Welcome to this very, very important uh, launch event. I am very grateful to uh, Sri Vatsa Krishna for being here despite his very, very pressing and urgent uh, commitments. But I am really pleased that he could be here because I think he also shares with me the importance of uh, providing very appropriate and relevant education uh, for uh, employment opportunities in biotechnology. Now at uh, Biocon, uh, I've always had this vision that India can play a leadership role in biotechnology and for that to happen, we do realize that we have to create a very rich talent pool. So I'd like to start by really giving you a very brief synopsis of the biotech sector. As I said earlier, I think by, I do believe that uh, you know India has the potential of becoming a global innovation hub for biotechnology. The Indian biotech sector is estimated to be of a size of 11 billion dollars today, and it has grown at a CAGR of 20 percent in the last 10 years. The aim of the sector is to realize revenues of $100 billion by 2025. And if this is the trajectory that we need to aim for, it will call for a very important talent pool and a very large talent pool that enables us to achieve this goal. The Indian biotech sector today if you look at the pie, actually comprises of biopharma <coughs> manufacturing, which really accounts for the significant part of the biotech sector. The bioservices sector is a very rapidly growing sector, accounting for about 10% of the overall biotech sector. And then you have the agri-biotech sector, which of course is also a very important sector for, for our country. And so between these three important sectors, I believe that India does have a very large opportunity to, uh, to aim and achieve its goal of $100 billion by 2025. But as I mentioned earlier, in order to do that, I think we need the appropriate and relevant talent to get us there. And today, as we all know, there is a huge gap that exists between the quality of human capital available and the needs of the industry. So whilst we have the academic sector in our country graduating a large number of biotech professionals, uh, we do believe that they are not industry ready. We have today over 725 biotech institutes in India graduating 40,000 students per annum. So it is a very large talent pool. But is it the appropriate, relevant and rich talent pool that we are looking for? The answer is no. Because barely 2,000 students get employed each year. And I can tell you that the constant refrain I hear from students is that we are pursuing biotech because of the promise that it holds, because of the promise you say it holds. But when we actually go to get jobs, we just don't find those jobs. So we have to then join other sectors. So where are these jobs? And so, in order to do that, I think what both the government of Karnataka, which has taken the lead in this direction, and now we at Biocon Academy are trying to do, is to address this skill deficit and is to make aspiring biotechnologists employable. And what we are really focusing on at Biocon Academy is advanced learning and hands-on industrial training. Now I want to spend a few minutes really talking about what the Karnataka government has done to you know, address this very, very important issue. So, the government of Karnataka under the Millennium Biotech Policy in the second version actually focused on this concept of biotech finishing schools across the state. And the aim was basically to, to make these biotech graduates industry ready. 
the aim was to say how do we basically teach them basic skill sets that industry needs and in order to do that the the biotech finishing schools have and are continuously enrolling 150 students a year in a one year program that is set across 12 institutes and select institutes across the state and offering advanced education to the students of biotechnology in the various aspects of biotechnology, be it IV biotechnology, be it pharmaceutical biotechnology, or be it industrial biotechnology, or other aspects of the biotech sector which includes uh, bioinformatics and other relevant such programs. We are now in the third year of these BT finishing schools and I am very pleased to say that this particular program has met with a lot of success. Students have found placement in biotech organizations. We certainly have made them more employable and as the chairperson of Karnataka's vision group for biotechnology, I am really you know, pleased and encouraged by the kind of response we are, we are getting for these programs, but more importantly, from the feedback that we are receiving from industry in terms of how well these students are performing in their various industries. So I think this has been a resounding success. We need to beef it up and we need to improve on this program as the years go on. And this is what we are committed to uh, at the government level in terms of making sure that, that the government enables these graduates to actually improve their skill sets and then gainfully get themselves employed by industry and thereby actually enable industry to perform even better. So what we decided to do was to take it to another level. So at the Biocon Academy, our mission is to augment these efforts of the government. And what we want to actually focus on is one aspect of biotechnology, which we are very committed to at Biocon, which is biopharma or biopharmaceuticals. Because again, I do believe that India has an enormous role to play in biopharmaceuticals. We are already a recognized leader in pharmaceuticals and I think we can emulate the success with biopharmaceuticals. But as we all know, the biopharmaceutical ecosystem is very complex. The regulatory ecosystem under which it functions is even more complex. And the pathway of developing biopharmaceuticals is very, very complex. And in order to make sure that we actually start inculcating a deep understanding of these complexities. We at the Biocon, we decided to create a Biocon Academy that would actually address these very complex aspects of developing biopharmaceuticals for global markets. In order to do that, we actually decided to partner with uh, academic institutions in other parts of the world who are very familiar with this particular academic course curriculum and we, it was our good fortune that we came across uh, the Tech Graduate Institute in uh, Los, Ange in, uh, Los Angeles in California and we decided that since they have such a strong focus on biopharmaceuticals and uh, these complexities that I just talked about, they had a very comprehensive program which they have been delivering very effectively for the benefit of the biopharma sector in the US. And as we all know, the US is undoubtedly uh, the thought leader and the industry leader in biopharmaceuticals for the world. So with that in mind, we have actually joined hands with KGI and put together a very comprehensive program, a very intensive program, I might add, which is a 16-week extensive and intensive program with nine modules and hands-on practical training under the mentorship of industry experts and in industry itself. And we believe that this program really equips students with the know-how to bridge the gap between science and the business of life sciences. 
The Biocon Academy, as we see ourselves, will be an advanced center of excellence for advanced learning and applied business science, is what we like to uh, be known as. It is aimed at making biotech graduates employable through advanced learning and industrial training. And our vision is to become a recognized center for advanced learning in biosciences that will provide the required proficiency for graduates for enhanced career prospects for both biotechnology and engineering graduates. And our mission is to train and develop industry-ready talent for the biopharma sector to enable global competitiveness. This is really what our academy aspires to do. And we are very confident with, uh, with this kind of partnership that we have engaged with KGI. We believe that we can certainly make this a reality. I'll just touch upon our values. We certainly want to empower engineering and biotech bioscience graduates with basic industrial proficiency that will enhance their career prospects in the biopharma sector. We certainly want to leverage the India advantage to develop industry-ready biotechnologists to partake in the journey of unlocking the potential of India's biotech sector. <coughs> we also want students to persevere to develop the spirit of scientific experimentation, research and innovation in their minds. We want to innovate, so innovation is a very strong focus, to find sustainable solutions by leveraging biotechnology for human healthcare and human life. We want to certainly connect industry and academia to maximize the opportunities for aspiring biotechnologists in the industry and to transform the face of bio the biotech industry by developing proficient talent that addresses the issue of the skill deficit that we currently face. In terms of collaborating for world-class training, our flagship program in collaboration with KGI is a 16-week full-time, one-of-its-kind program. It is aimed at making biotech graduates proficient. We want to focus on advanced learning and skill training. We have the best of KGI faculty and subject matter experts from Biocon, as well as our own in-house faculty. We have technology-based real-time synchronous classes. Nine course modules will prepare students for biotech companies around the world. The Biocon KGI collaboration offers a unique educational experience to students. And we really hope that this will benefit over the years, a large number of biotech graduates who will then become very capable professionals that will propel the biotech sector to a leadership position. As I already mentioned earlier, this course curriculum has been very customized to suit our needs, to suit the biopharma sector's needs, and we have certainly brought this and designed this uh, with the kind of training modules that we can also offer to these students in terms of hands-on industry training. <coughs> we also believe very strongly in mentorship and therefore there is a complete focus on mentored learning from industry experts and our in-house faculty uh, and I believe that this will be certainly of a very high order. And finally we will allow these students to experience uh, training at state-of-the-art laboratories which really allows them to look at uh, you know, global opportunities in terms of employment. We also would like, I would like to just touch upon the, the module. It is a very expensive module I might add because this involves a you know, cross-border connectivity, it involves synchronous and non-synchronous programs. The uh, industry level hands-on training programs are also very, very expensive programs. So having, considering all that, the actual, you know, uh, the, the cost to us is going to work out to be about 6 lakhs per student. 
And what Biocon has decided to do is to offer a scholarship to the extent of four and a half lakhs or 75% of this cost. And therefore students will be required to pay 1.5 lakhs. Even for that, we are actually planning to assist such students uh, with uh, you know, a bank uh, loan facilities that we will assist them with. But more importantly, I think I want to also emphasize here is that we will definitely be conducting a entrance exam to make sure that those who are really have, have actually done very well at a certain level academically will actually greatly benefit from this advanced learning program that we are offering. Uh, through the Biocon Academy. So, we do believe that through this particular uh, course program, this is the first of its, uh, uh, you know, the first such program, but we then intend at a later date to add on many, many more modules of other sort of uh, programs in, in, in select areas as and when we find that there is a, a deficit or a gap that needs to be filled. So I think this is a, a first step for us at Biocon Academy. Uh, you know, this is a very important first step for us, and we really look forward to taking many, many more steps in our mission to really create a rich talent pool for the biotech sector. So we are focusing on potential job opportunities at Biocon, but we also know that there will be many such opportunities in other biotech companies not just across the country, but globally. Because let me tell you that these skills are in high demand and in short supply. So I think this is what we're trying to do. We hope that Indian companies will derive the maximum benefit from what we're doing today. And uh, I really believe that this is a time for India to really focus on a mission to be a global leader in biopharma and biotech. So this is the overall overarching ambition that we have at Biocon Academy and uh, we really look forward to basically focusing on the spirit of experimentation, uh, innovation and of course we want to foster excellence in the biotech sector through this advanced uh, learning and training program. So with that I will uh, say thank you to all of you.